What is up, y'all? It is me, Tasha C. And welcome to the Tasha C Show podcast. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still, you know, over this tragic death of um, Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and Alicia, a young lady, and Patton, who was also a young lady, two children had also passed away, among the rest of the pastor that passed away in that tragedy Sunday morning. And what else, you know, it's just, life is very precious. I know I usually don't start my podcast like that, but today is going to be a short podcast because, you know, with everything going on and um, the last couple of days, it's still so real. Um, This is going to be a short podcast, but the other one I'll have after this for the next day will be longer. So, y'all, this is good because it's already 1126 and this is day 13 of my 363 video journey. Which is shout out to my YouTube and podcast fam. And shout out to also people say who may be listening. And which like I said I did not expect that many. That the outcome that I had gotten. I just. Which is one of the topics I'm going to talk about. Not like more of like you know like. Like of the Kobe Bryant thing. I was going to possibly do an update. To see maybe the cause of um, what had happened. To unfortunately why that tragedy occurred. And but now, I wanted to talk about like I said, hug loves everybody. Like I said, this is a bonus podcast, which means I start on October the eighth of last year, and I plan to do this year when I make a video, but it's a podcast showing my face every year. Now the Kobe Bryant ones, y'all, I don't count them as my day video journey at all. I was in so much shock and whatever, and that's going to be my first topic. And if you are listening to the podcast and are hugs and loves for people with support. You know, like I said, appreciate, just appreciate every day. I appreciate y'all. You know, not tomorrow's not promised. Whew, Lord. But I also wanted to also tell y'all that, um, y'all, so you might hear some clicking, because since I'm using, conven- let me convince you using speakers, creative studio to make these wonderful podcasts. Y'all may hear clicks and so forth, because I'm using their app through the phone in order to create these, con- to create this content. And on top of that, you know, to talk and connect, um, people, uh, you may hear clicks, y'all, because I'm on my laptop. As far as I, I'm, I haven't used my laptop in a while, I've been using the, the computer here. But anyway, y'all, I know you're like, okay, what the hell is she talking about? But speaking of it first, I just wanted to talk about a couple things. Like I said, it's not going to be a long podcast, because I want to be able to upload this, um, you know, before the midnight. I mean, of course, I ain't going to self penalize enough that I missed a day. But I wanted to be more consistent and like the reason why I want to keep saying just a vent real quick. I didn't know that because, like I said, I still deal with the fact of my illness, which is hygienizopedia and sometimes effects I have asthma and bronchitis. And that's a long story. There's a couple of videos and I'm not going to do it today or, or like there'll be a long podcast about dealing with the condition that I have. And so sometimes, let me just say this, is sometimes it's chronic pain, chronic weakness, sometimes all together, and so forth. And some there's three different le- stages, levels. Some people may have it worse than others. It is a lot of things that I can go in and talk about, okay, with it. But like I said, um, the whole thing about, let me just say this here, about... With the Kobe situation, I did not know until, and I didn't put it in the video, y'all. I was prepared. I did actually three videos, two videos in one day, and one video. I didn't do it for attention. I did it because the first one, when I seen there was not nobody really, like, it was just TMZ, and a couple people say TMZ was the one reporting it. And then once that I got a notification through Fox News, the one that's, I'm located, I live in Michigan, y'all. Um, it was talking about it. I'm like, what? And that was my confirmation. I wasn't going to go by TMZ. I was not, you know, I wasn't clickbaiting. And, you know, they, they, they be mistaking that people have passed away. So the first, I was just like in so much shocked. And even then I'm just like, okay, it's five Patrick. I don't know what it is. And even though y'all, I'm just going to say, 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 say uh, you know, say it again. And even the second V, I tried several times where me and even other folks were like, do you know what's going on? You know, like if, if anyone else is there, I tried several times refreshing Google. But you always got that one damn one or two people, one who, you know, one, uh, 
you had to sit there and you got, you know, invite to the block party and make sure they got, you know, RSBP, you know, they got B, no, VIP section on that. So I ended up on the next video, which I was going to do anyway, was I was not, if I was going to do a third or any more videos, I wanted to make sure that all the passengers were acknowledged, the victims, the ones carried over who are no longer here, they are passed over, they're up in heaven and stuff too, you know, because it wasn't just Kobe and his daughter, the only one I had did the second one was because once, because the way that it was said was, you know, because some people, I know I may be repeating, but some people might have, um, not watched any of the videos, and I'm not talking about the videos to up there plug my YouTube channel, I'm talking about, you know, about YouTube channel, you know, I have no problem with you being part of my YouTube and a uh, podcast fam, you know, both whatever, um, <laughs> but TV, but you know, it's still kind of awkward because it's like, I don't want to sit here and look this opportunity to sit here and get more views. That's not my purpose of getting on here is only to monetize the situation. I, you know, I actually, enjoy oh, sorry, y'all creating, um, content. You know, not just cream, just venting and just the videos as a way of doing it, especially sometimes being an introvert and dealing with anxiety when that's another story, okay? Um, anxiety sometimes. So I that's why I do it. Um so it's very disturbing, disgusting that I found out from a couple of sources, because also changed out boards. You know, that's where they sometimes had petitions and stuff, right? And um they had sent and I also heard from allegedly, you know, I mean, also from Lovely TTV, which I also watched her, our video yesterday, um, that she actually created Sunday, about, you know, um, the past and the shock to the sports world about Kobe's passing and this, you know, Junk Dar Patch and also this, the past, uh, pastors and stuff, you know, but, you know, yeah, I forgot to mention, like I said, I, when I was, even though I was talking and Googling several times trying to find information, I remember this one person I had to block because it wasn't the fact that I asked that I have any more. If it's understanding, because another person asked me about it, but I said, yeah, it, it is important. Do you have any information about it? They left a comment, you know, information. They left a comment. Do I have any information? And slash, you know, because other people are important too. Nothing wrong with that. I was like, yeah, they are important. And that's what I'm trying to, was trying to find. And I'm like, I couldn't get information. Uh, that's exactly what I told the person. So I made a video where I printed out a couple articles, highlight information about the other victims of this tragedy, and, you know, talked a little bit about as far as, right, um, for one of the articles. I don't know, was it CNN? And, and, no, it wasn't that one. Um, also, like I said, I talked about it in the third video I created yesterday. And so, but you got somebody, it's like, it's interesting how people try to tell you as a grown-ass person, even if you're a child, even though, really, you know, it's probably, it should be parental version, that's a whole nother video about, like, kids being on social media, and, you know, in, in a, you know, just, just in the limelight, you know, all this other stuff, you know, so what I'm gonna say is, is that people have the balls to come at your channel sometimes, even though, you know, I just block, I ain't about to sit and go back and forth with somebody, I ain't got to go and sit and uh, sit and life is too short, and I sit and enter, uh, for foolishness, life is too short for sitting here, if I want to deal with clown with clowns, I will go to, that's, I will go to a circus, or I will go to a birthday party where they has a clown, or I rent a clown for such event as of that, that's what I do, deal with clown, if I want to deal with clownery, and that's the foolish that you give, and you know, I ain't got no, you know, uh, erasable chalk, portable chalkboard to up there to explain to people that several times that I have tried myself, which I didn't have to, because number one, let me say again, it is my channel, just like I'm on the podcast right here, but some people want, like I said, they crip walk all across the damn keyboards, or they take people, and these are grown as some, you know, some of them, not all of them are like blank on the profile, there are some people who actually, you know, show their face, and you know, that's brave for that, you know, consider, okay, you know, I'll leave that alone, but anyway, what I mean is, is that dealing with, um, like I said, dealing with actually you know, trying to get this information out of stuff. I'm not a reporter, but I felt it was very important that people said this. So, you know, y'all, when the TMZ one, because like I said, they started saying on the radio, that's the first time I did it. I didn't even know about it too. one of my sister's times had told, called here and said it was talking about it on the radio stations here in Michigan. Then she called my mom. I know I'm repeating this again, but like I said, it's very important because I'm like this, hearing this um, information and about the change.org, um, you know, how to have petitions, I completely understand this one, because this is ridiculous, so it was an email that was sent about, um, not too long ago, about, like, 
it turns out, y'all, this even makes it more sadder. It makes it more sadder than some people, you know, who don't value life, who are trying to you know, find out how Vanessa, you know, Kobe's wife and uh, Gigi's mom is doing. How do you think she feels? Pray for sure. Pray for everybody. Because like I said, you got, uh, I think her, her, her name, Christina Katran is, you know, one of the ladies who passed uh, passed away in a car crash. Her husband's left with three kids. And he's, you know, that's tragic. You know, this family, both uh, Alicia, um, um, Ayana and Alicia, um, one of her other team, um, Gigi's teammates, both her parents passed and she passed as well. And she's a child. So she, you know, she got, you know, lived a life very short. She, you know, like I said, I think she leaves behind two siblings, you know, and these siblings, you know, have, you know, at least, you know, one parent, you know, so, and even though they're going to pipe out his family, people, you know, he is missed. Um, like I said, okay, you got the two parents and one child. And there was a mother and a daughter as well, again. And I know the brother, it, they, they had a sibling, you know, there was a son. And, you know, he's missing his sister, mom, the image, you know. So, it's, it's families that are affected by this, you know. Oh, gosh, this person again. I'm starting to think, like, why these last couple videos consistently, y'all, like I said, you know how when you subscribe to somebody or follow somebody, whether it's on YouTube or podcast or anything, and I'm starting to wonder, it wasn't a mistake to actually follow this person because these videos, first, I liked their videos, y'all, but you know how it's like, well, I'm glad you're able to subscribe. But, you know, y'all, if you're on YouTube sometimes, and you unsubscribe to somebody, in some cases, sometimes they still show up in your feed. You still see in your timeline. You still have to hide it. And they still keep popping up your stuff. I don't know why once you don't unsubscribe that you don't see that person no more. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, what's the purpose of me unsubscribing? You still going to have me with a feed to my new damn video. Get this person off my stuff. <laughs> Shoot. So anyways, um, like I said... I found out I wanted to read James.org, which I said, God, this is what I didn't know. Okay, my name, you know, Natasha, Kobe Bryant's wife. Vanessa learned about the death of her husband and daughter at the same time as the rest of the world. Before police notify her of her family's tragic loss, the news was leaked by TMZ. I'm thinking, y'all, when TMZ reported that, and they were the first ones to report it, like I said, I follow, like, um... You know, entertainment, not gossip, because I want the truth. You know, sites that may, you know, uh, may include nine times ten celebrities, but other stories as well about us everyday people. I mean, even celebrities, they're still human beings, okay? They're still human beings like us. But what I meant to say is is that um, the sites that usually reported, I refreshed it. So the first video, I was, like I said, I was surprised that a lot of people. The second video, I did again because I when I found out that they kept saying over again, that Vanessa was not in there, I didn't know that any children were on there, period. The way they were wording this stuff. So let me go continue. But this is this is tragic. Before, I know I just repeat this word, before the police notify her of her family's tragic loss, the news, I, I'm just, I'm purposely repeating this word, the news was leaked by TMZ, a tabloid news channel. And that is disturbing and disgusting is that why, why was that allowed? If they didn't know for sure, they should have waited and waited. Well, why did? Why was it up to them to report the news first without the knowledge of his wife? You know, his king and his children. You know, it, that is sad. That is disturbing. That is greediness. Okay, that is greediness because to support a story to go to that extent. Like I first thought about doing a vid, but I'm like, I'm not trying to make to get viewers about the Kobe Bryant situation or be thirsty for views or whatever, okay? I just felt it was truth. It was sad. It's a sad situation about the passing of these nine souls that are carrying on a homecoming that are not here anymore in physical form. They are off, and, you know, the families who have to impact this news, you know, and loved ones, just family members, co-workers, and so forth, or even if you did know these people, having connection with these people, you know, of course, you know, like the Cole Brown also start, you know, just having connection, knowing, having empathy about realizing, like, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? 
and how it might have impacted, you know, people in different situations. Like some people might have lost somebody that day. They might have had a birthday, you know, Sunday, and now all of a sudden, or, you know, like the next day, which is kind of so interesting, like, you know, John Witherspoon passed away, I think, the beginning of, like, December, God rest his soul. Even though he was older and he died, I think of a heart condition or something like that. But he was in his 70s, okay? Yesterday was his birthday, and his son, who makes you two contact, J2, Teji Witherspoon, because I think he had on two children, two sons, um, had been, you know, just showing some clips when, you know, his birthday, and it's just, like, so sad. And, you know, just, like, just, it, it just, that's the reason why I didn't watch the Grammys. I'll talk about that when I make my next podcast about it. But, um, yeah, so, let me go back to finish it. I know I'm over there, but it just really is disturbing, disgusting. And now, here it is. Now, Will and other basketball fans are asking Fox to cancel Team Z's television program. He's outraged at a tabloid outlet would subject a family to this type of disrespect. Science will petition if you think Team Z should be canceled. It's time to ca- for, for Fox to cancel Team Z after what they did to Kobe Bryant's family. This is... Okay, TMZ is a tabloid a news a website owned by um, Warner Media and carried by Fox television stations that report celerity and fl- fluids or news. TMZ has a history of harassing siblings and crossing so many lines, but this time it went too far. Basketball legend Kobe Bryant and his daughter died in a horrible crash. I'm going to add it also, and other families as well. Okay, because they weren't the only ones. And TMZ linked the news before the authorities were even able to notify the family. That means that Vanessa Bryant found out about her husband and her child with Team Z tweets and comments. And also, um, the oldest daughter found out through social media too. So, oh my gosh, this is not okay. And this time that, and this is time that Fox and Warren take away, uh, take away their platform, sign a petition to get Team Z taken down once and for all. I'm just going to see how many people have signed in, y'all. But by the way, before I get off here, I have one more story. Um, no, I'm not going to chip in. I'm just going to share. Okay. Can you chip? Okay, safe for signing. Dang, that was quick. Okay, we come here, joy to helping reach. Okay, no, I share it there. They didn't show how many people. Dang, that just went and clicked. Okay, they also church church. No, I'm just going to share with folks. Okay, thank you for signing. I, you know, because I, I signed um, some, you know, petitions with... Um, the thing with uh, with this place before. So like I said, and I will say again about the problem with um, people wanting a story so bad. But at what expense? It'd be different, say, if they knew the family was notifying verification, which like I said, how, but like I said, it just should be some type of, you know what I'm saying, paperwork and stuff done or law and stuff like that where such as news, if someone passes away, and that's just even with local people. Shouldn't the family be notified? You know, like, if they're going to tell a story about somebody passing this way, until they know, and like they were saying, and in one of the articles I read um, that I also used in one of my videos, y'all, I made sure to be like, you know, to look at the information and highlight it. So I had enough information, so I wouldn't have to keep going between pages and stuff like that, just in case it's going to be glitches and stuff like that, whatever. I printed it out and highlighted and read everything. So whoever watches that video, I gave enough information. I hope that will help people. And hopefully, I mean, it, it's just still a lot. But it is disturbing to find out this information about Kobe's wife and daughter and other family members and other loved ones finding about his death through media, through social media. And, you know, also about final couple people, like, it's somebody else, y'all, I know I'm not, not trying to make about this code, I'm just say real quick. Even a Rachel Moody, Mood Swing, Eva, Eva, uh, Eva, whatever her name is, she, again, was one of those people, and I know she's a survivor, and she deserves to survive her, unfortunately, of uh, being raped or something, uh, and she's advocating, you know, for people who've been victims, or, I don't know if it's just women or just victims, period, of, you know, being, you know, raped or sexual abuse, right? And she, again, was one of those people who tried it, because I talked about, a little about somebody else trying to, quote, quote, make a joke, some jackass up here at his fence making some joke about the passing of Kobe, even though, like I said, it's not only disturbing to make a joke about it, even if he's done this several times, like, 
I understand when you, you know, when it, uh, with some comedians, whatever, you know, when they make, you know, jokes about everything, you know, I, if y'all remember about the comedian, well, she's allegedly, even though a lot of people don't like Hope Floyd, I mean, Hope Floyd is actually her name. Don't that sound like a, a fantastic boxer named Hope Floyd? I don't know why, <laughs> but anyway, she used to joke on Come of You, y'all remember, and she's talked about before and made jokes about the fact that she was a survivor of her uncle, the, the monster, who was a monster, who molested her when she was younger, okay? And so, you know, when you make jokes about certain things, there are, like, certain limitations that you would cross. Some people, some um, people can be cross where you wouldn't cross as a regular person, but making a crap about, you know, is it still... You know, things that may be taken, you know, there's some that go different limits about what content they say on the stage and or skits. So what I'm saying is, is in the case of that, that was real disgusting. So this person is an actress that was talking about yesterday. And y'all, whoo, I may talk about it more because like I said, it's almost number 26. And I am trying to make sure this up late on YouTube you know, she talking again about, oh, yeah, he passed away, blah, 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 but he was a rapist, and blah, blah, blah. And again, y'all, I'm going to keep it real, and it's not from experience, but whatever. But it's interesting that these people who are saying this are not people of color, you know, who have millennium, and you know, uh, melanated. They're not melanated, if you know what I mean. They have the stuff to say about, and get this, y'all, in 2009, this same broad, Made a movie with Willie Allen. That's all I gotta say. Then she try to clear up. Well, I didn't. I didn't know. And I, like I said, y'all Google Woody Allen. It's interesting. He goes by the name Willie Allen. Must have. And you know, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. And then she trying to cover it like, bitch, you sat there. Yeah, I called her bitch because she sat there. Right, all fair game, right? And on top of that, like I said, it's interesting that she sent this comment. Not you know about. The allegations about him doing this, even though, I, I, like I said, this whole other story has been cleared, blah, 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 this, you know, okay, I ain't trying to be one of those people who sit here and just saying just because he passed away and just because he's Kobe of why I'm saying that comment, okay, or, you know, how, because, you know, some people say, oh, just because certain people are talented that they're supposed to be excluded if they did some foul ass shit in life and they're supposed to be excluded, uh-uh, nope, nope, no. but that, I think that's the story, if you... You know, I know the old saying, so you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. And I'm just saying is, if you just feel that type of way, you can keep that to yourself. Here's why, because like I said, you did, a, she did a whole movie with Willie Allen, worked with him, okay? And this is after the allegations, you know, not just allegations, work, the stuff about, you know, him up here. He, remember, he married his own step, okay, you know what? And then there was a note that she, there's somebody else, I think was another daughter from, what, what was her name? Milo Minnie. If y'all, um... Satan, what is it, um, Rosemary's baby, what is her name, she started with an M, oh my gosh, but anyways, like I said, it's just the hottest man, so how do y'all feel, are you going to sign the petition, I'm like, yeah, because I'm just like, like I said, they do stories like that, that sometimes they don't know all the information, they can just say, until they know the next, you know, notify the next to kin, and they know for sure, they should like, okay, a crash and blah, 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 we won't tell you the names until further on, blah, 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 but, you know, and should have just left it as that. Because still, that would not be giving any names. But again, some people, now those are the ones that people who want to come, like I said, I didn't have too much of that, okay? You know, I'll have one person and one thing and click block person. Another person, you cut the crap, he's not dead. Block that person. But for people who report this stuff and you got people up here saying people are doing it for clout and blah, blah, blah. No, those mofos and people who up here are sitting here and trying to find out how Vanessa feels and blah, 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 blah. Like, is you for real? Now, that's some mofos is doing it for clout, okay? And then there's some people sitting here changing. Oh, I got exclusives with the Bryan family. Oh, I remember I was on that. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember, uh, I remember, uh. I hooked the family, this information, I got exclusive. What the hell? Okay, anyway, now those are the ones that's doing it for clout, okay? Oh, okay, okay, y'all. Now, I wanted to say about this is a local store. I just seen on the news, so I didn't look in my app or anything. But it was somebody, y'all, they decided here. Now, it's not, I mean, 
It's actually like in the late 30s and 40s supposed to be this week. It's actually going to be pretty mild. Okay, and again, crime and patrol, that's holding the storm. I'm not in the environment like that, but you know what I mean. Let me get a little drop of water. Let me get a swig. Anyways, so there was these girls in Michigan. They like what? I think like a couple hours ago and stuff, right? They out there, y'all, want to sit here and go and go um up to uh some damn um yonder. And like I said, we are not. In like where it's so cold, where the ice they couldn't no, they couldn't did it because that would have been dangerous trying to bowl a bro well, that polar vortex, you know. Um, when hell freezes over weather, that's what the hell that was, okay. <laughs> but anyway, that came last year, you know, when Jesse um Subway, yeah, I said it correctly, Subway, you know, had went and got that sub and everything, tried to get a sub and everything, came out and tried to get a two minute, whatever. Anyways, y'all, so. After that, with the whole thing with, um, the whole thing with, actually, they, it was two women, and I ain't about to say, but I'm going to keep it real, y'all, even if they were small frame people, or the right BMI, or, you know, it's very, you know, tiny, small frame people, um, I wouldn't trust going in this weather, or trust ice, ice, you know, ice, uh, ice, um, you know, I, I was supposed to say ice skiing. I meant to say, you know, ice, uh, you know, fishing. I don't per- personally me. And because I remember me and my sister Smurfette, Trina, we went, we didn't go ice skiing or whatever, y'all. It was like February weather, maybe 34 or 70 degrees. We always used to do this. We did this a lot, like on and off for several months when it was like 1990. Then we did this, like, I don't know, like, early 2000s, something like this, or mid-2000s. I forgot when the heck we did this. But, y'all, we even just going, you know, it's like we live near Bellow. That's metro, you know, whatever, right? And we just went there. And, y'all, we didn't go there fishing. We just like to, like, go to roll. Sometimes we always used to go, listen, you know, she pack a sandwich and stuff like that. It was just like our little, you know, our little, um... Our little family uh, Sunday out of that, which we mean her, our little big sister, little sister Bond, um, where we would go, and we and we used to go to Art Museum, uh, Detroit Institute of Arts. Okay, a lot. That's how I ended up loving art was actually through her. Okay, but anyway, I haven't went in years. I need to go. I haven't been there at least 10 plus years to the uh, Art Museum. I'm missing out probably some nice stuff. Whew. Okay, anyway. So... Anyways, y'all, I went ahead and remember me and her, we just went to a bridge. We just wanted to see the water. You know, it was kind of a little frozen. Though. We weren't trying to see and, you know, fish. We didn't have no damn fishy poles anyway. But you know what, y'all? Guess what? We almost bust our ass. And one of us, we were like, mm-mm, it's time for us to go. We didn't go halfway on the bridge. It wasn't a big bridge or anything. But it is a bridge that, you know, you're on top of some of the water. And it was like, you know, skirk, we heard something, you know, a, a squeak noise or something, and we were like, you know what, turn around, and one of us almost fit, bust our ass. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it was, I, we, you know, we, we weren't trying to see, you know, we weren't trying to uh, basically fall, okay? So, um, we were like, you know what, um, mm-mm, we can't do that, nope. So, these two women, who on the fluffy side, okay, that has nothing to do with that, but like I said, even though they were small frames, so it has nothing to do with the fact that they want to take chances and go to the thing. But they up there, y'all, based on the thing, like, they wanted to go out and try some ice fishing. I don't know if they called herself was going to go on the ice or not, y'all, but here she said some slip up. Next minute, I know they got a thing with somebody to think out some men around here, but she fell in the water. And I'm like, why she look like she in a brown sports bra or whatever? But I guess somehow her coat got messed up or something, so that helped her out. Her. And she, you know, here they're like, I was freezing, hyperlating. And they think about later on, I guess they're going to try again. Uh. First, they were like, we don't just don't know what happened. So I don't know how it was similar to like me and what my sister could have went through. But no, no, no. It had the little thing. But no, we could have, if we slid because it had like, you know, a roll of wood. You know, basically like we are armrest on a small bridge. But they didn't have, I'm just like, mm-mm. See, mm-mm. See, Lord tell you, sit your ass at home. If you can't just buy some fish, we buy some fries somewhere. Go to some damn other fish market. It, that is a sign. Or go to Kroger. Shit, that, mm-mm. 
But anyways, y'all, let me get out of here because I'm trying to upload a husband loves, and I'll be the next one. This is day 13, so, um, um, and so I, I'm just going to get off here. I'm just still trying to adjust y'all doing back to doing this podcast. But anyway, hugs and love. See y'all in the next, in the next one. And God bless too. I forgot to say that. Okay, I'm going for real this time, y'all. See y'all.